Hey guys, it's Sasha Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, it's been a really, really long time that I uploaded like a how-to video. So in this video, I wanted to show you guys how to properly wax yourself at home. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys this video is because waxing can tend to be extremely expensive as well as I guess like comfort level a lot of people are a little bit timid or shy about showing their body parts and to people that they don't necessarily know so I just want to show you like a convenient easy affordable way to properly wax yourself at home right now I am at the salon in my little waxing room but you can set it up at home easily I'm just gonna show you ways that I properly wax myself in the comfort of my own little space i'm going to show you how to wax your underarms and your legs i really do need to wax my bikini but i'm not going to show that on camera because you know youtube be banning um stuff like that so i'm not going to show you how to do your bikini but as long as you have the technique you should be able to apply the technique to any parts of your body so the first thing that you're going to need is a wax warmer i got this from amazon it was probably like thirty dollars or something like that but i got a double wax warmer because if i'm waxing clients hair i need to be able to use both of them in case like one is running low just to get another one but for the sake of you guys doing it yourselves you might just need a single wax warmer and this wax warmer i'm using hard wax in it this one is for sensitive skin so for some people that are prone to like getting breakouts or just have like really sensitive skin i would use this one on them and then i'll just use the blue wax for like everybody else the wax comes like little beads i don't want them. i knew i was gonna drop it like little beads like this goodness gracious it's actually clumsy you're gonna need some sticks so I have different sizes I have like these smaller ones that these smaller sticks that I use for like my eyebrows or my lip um, my nose stuff like that I have bigger sticks and all of these sticks are used for the rest of my body part so you always want to cleanse your skin before you even start doing anything so I use this to cleanse um, I have some aloe vera gel and that's just to soothe your skin after you finish waxing. I have some baby powder because the baby powder helps to absorb any moisture. So if your underarms like tend to sweat, you'll put like some powder on it. I got some like little cotton rounds because this is what I could use to like cleanse your skin with. So that's pretty much all the items that I use. Um, let me show you what the wax looks like in the pot. So I have the temperature at about like 70 so it can like heat up. This is still really hard, so I'm just gonna leave the stick here. The wax is warmed up, and this is what it looks like when it's all melted. So it looks like this. Sometimes if it's like super liquidy, it's like really, really hot. So you wanna make sure that you're like scooping from the middle and not from around the end, because around the edges is where it's like really hot. So I'm going to just do my lower leg. So the first thing I'm going to do, you want to clean your legs off. You want to make sure that you don't have like any lotion or anything because if you have lotion on, it's going to, the wax isn't going to stick properly. So I'm using, like I said, this Serapil cleanser. I'm just going to clean off my legs from all the lotion and stuff that I had on. Then we go straight into waxing. So you scoop. Twist. Ah, I'm still twisting. Hold on. I'm still twisting. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag it, drop it down, put it here, and then bring it down like this. And then when I'm going down, I'm gonna create like a little lip like this because I'm gonna need something to rip to be able to lift up easy. So this is how I do a strip. Sorry if you can see my underwear. This is just gonna get hard on its own and you're just gonna rip this off. And then you're just gonna, you see this the lip that I had here? That's where you're gonna lift up. So you're just gonna take it, lift it up, and then you just rip it off. You wanna scoop up the wax, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. Keep twisting and then you're just gonna do it like this. Make sure you push hard so it can like stick on the hair. 
give yourself a little lip like this and once you know like the proper technique once you get it like this you can literally apply it on any part of your body whether bigger or smaller and then you're just gonna take it and rip it off like that and then your hair is gone it's all up on the wax okay so I got it clean you really don't need too much when you're waxing your underarms twist it keep twisting keep twisting hold on keep twisting so it doesn't fall and then I'm just gonna apply it like this keep pushing and you want to make sure that you apply a lot of pressure so it can stick on the hair And the goal is to get it all off in like one strip. So when it's time to rip it off, you're just gonna take it, you have your lip like I said, you can count to three, you can do whatever you want. But you just rip it off and try to apply some pressure. I already did it quick. Now if you ever end up with like wax like this stuck, if you take the shiny side of the wax, all you gotta do is stick it together and it'll all come off. Now the tricky part is when you're left-handed and you gotta do the other side. Oh gosh, this is gonna be intense. Hold on, drop it. This was a fail. I should still be able to get it off though. So I'm just gonna do my nose. I don't really have that much hair, but um, it helps you breathe a lot better. Yes, you do need your hair, but the ones in the back helps like prevent sickness. So around the rim is only where I'm gonna get. So with that, I'm just gonna get a small little stick like this. Alright. Then you get your nostril. Shove it up like this. Don't push it too much and then just stick it right there. Alright, so the wax is hard. So you're just gonna go, you're gonna count to like three. Count to three if you want to. So you're gonna go one, two, and pull it out. Hmm. Twist it up and let it stick. You're gonna go one. Two. Ow, that one didn't work out. <laughs> I hope you guys learned something, and I hope it wasn't like a pointless video. If you have any other video ideas, leave it in the comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.